What is going on everyone, CPAT here with another Gaming 2 video. We are back on the random versus random grind, and we are up against Excel, who's playing the Green Valerie. I don't think we've fought Excel yet in uh, Yomi 2, but I don't even remember if we fought them in Yomi 1. But uh, we are going to be playing Degray with the Blue Gem. I guess this is uh, the the anti-establishment establishment de Degray, I guess. Um, anyway, should be an interesting matchup just because, um, when Valerie gets the edge, our X and Y suddenly look really good. Um, we're just gonna block low here and see what he does. Um, see, I've never actually fought to Grey against, against, like, a quote-unquote rushdown character. We actually catch the, uh, light, light low as well. Fortunately, we didn't really have a power up there. Um, hoping to get one soon. Looks like he powers up medium highs for Super 1. Be playing um, green gem with Val is definitely an interesting choice. Normally you see Val go for the white. Uh, I tried playing Val with the purple, and that actually worked out quite well for me as well. Um, but Val with green, maybe going for like free rainbow disc shenanigans, if I to guess. Um, right, because obviously chromatic orb is. Uh, we're just gonna block Logan, by the way. Obviously, chromatic orb is. Relatively cheap super to play, so that's not what we're looking for. Can I please get a power up game? Can I please get a power up? Uh, just no power ups here. Um, but yeah, when Val gets the edge, suddenly our card like Tiger Crusher looks really, really strong, right? Um, so yeah, it's kind of the uh, kind of what we're going for here. Um, might you just go for a dodge here? Dodge the quick low. The only question is, do we just go into the Time Crusher? Or do we just go into throw? I think we actually go into the Time Crusher here. Let's get that knockdown. Uh, maybe we can bait something out. Uh, bait like our burst on our turn. Uh, we have four of those. Uh, we don't really need all of them to be Valerie. He only has 80 HP. Uh, plus we get the knockdown here as well. Maybe there's some... Uh, something there. Wait, it looks like he powered up C's on his turn, right? Um, so probably only rocking the one throw fight, I guess. We're gonna block. Uh, we're just gonna attempt to block the chromatic orb, by the way. Okay, he's just blocking as well. Actually, blocks high, interestingly enough. We only have one high, and we have a bunch of lows. Finally, we have a power up here, uh, so we'll get two bar. Let's go ahead and exchange. Uh, probably A for throw here. Uh, we now have the final arbiter on deck. Uh, we're probably just gonna be blocking. Probably just gonna be blocking still. Maybe we should be changing up our blocks. Maybe this is the turn he goes for a high. I just go for a throw here. That's fine. And we have the we have the final arbiter with the blue burst. So we're not too too worried. Uh, he does have a chromatic orb. I doubt he's gonna go for something crazy as like green jump storm here. Again, we're to gray, so we're actually equipped with extra. Um, we're actually equipped with extra DPS, right? Um, the only problem with those DPS is that they're unsafe on block. However, they do, um, they do beat the chromatic orb, right? Um, I think I'm just gonna send this. Oh, we beat the crashing rhino. That's really good for us. That's really good for us. Um, that's very good for us. I was more, mostly just afraid that he was going to block. Um, that's why I played the Arbiter there. But uh, no, that's very good for us. Anyway, we're going to power up throws. We're going to get Super 2 1 bar again. Uh, we're going to exchange this for low, I think. Um, do Ghostly Doctrine here, I guess, is the only question we have. What do we even discard for the Ghostly Doctrine? We could finally like, discard the Spear. Uh, it's not doing a whole lot in our hands right now. Um, we could just let it rock and block again. I will block high this time. Oh, we catch the green burst. Okay, that's good. We don't have a. We don't have like the best follow up here though. Is a thing. We might just go into the Spear. We go to the E maybe. Oh, we're down three throws. Go to the E, maybe. Sure. Uh, not the best looking follow-up, but hey, we won combat, right? Uh, we've been doing a good job holding combat, I'd say, overall. Uh, 
Um, we have Ghostly Doctrines for power up now. We just power this up for two bar anyway. I think we're gonna be just smashing DP here. We okay, got it. Ooh, a little bit extra moral high ground damage as well on that DP. Very nice for us. Uh, who is calling me? Spam question mark non-profit. Yeah, okay. Okay, guy. Uh, we are going to probably just power up our ghostly doctrines for two bar here. Um wonder if we just try to ghost or post. Uh, maybe we uh, gem storm to prevent his gem storm and then go for something like a ghost or post here. Uh, ghost or post is lethal for us, but we can even like prohibition gem storm here. Um, although I don't, I think maybe we want to be saving our prohibition, but maybe gem storm here is not a bad idea, just because he's maybe looking at gem storm on his turn, so we kind of prevent that. Um, so this kind of makes it look like I'm going for a quote unquote risky option, where I'm, in fact, just going for the ghost or post. Uh, so maybe this kind of obfuscates our play a little bit. Uh, anyway, we're just going to go for the ghost or post here. Uh, he goes for the high block. Oh, because I forgot to exchange for throw. I forgot to exchange for throw. Whoops. That's bad. He just incentivized to just sit there and block. Oh, because I forgot to exchange for throw. That's... Pr oh. We didn't have an exchange, though, did we? Huh. I just... Because I really don't want to be getting rid of our blocks. Anyway, it looks like he is going to be dropping uh, his high block for dodge. I'm pretty sure he's just, like, super incentivized to, um... Just blodge again, just because our throw management has been extremely poor this game. Just extremely, extremely poor this game. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he's just going to... Um, pretty sure he's just going to block himself, so let's just go ahead and block with him. Let's block... Hello. I should go for the chromatic orb, interesting. It's not something I fully expected, I'll be honest. Uh, let's get our throwback, please. Um, this might not be a bad turn to Prohibition, actually. Just because it prevents him using that Gemstorm for another two turns. Or for another turn, right? And maybe we can uh, pick up a victory from that position. Um, sure, let's do it. Let's Prohibition him. Go for the Daggerfall Thrust here. Ah, I just hit my Gorb again. Okay. Um, at least I don't have to deal with that card again. Okay, you got me, you got me. Um, do we go for something spicy like a Tyrant Crusher? I think we just actually just, now that he's down both, um, Chromatic Orbs, I think we just go for Final Arbiter. We catch the Rainbow Strip, which is good for us. Final Arbiter! Um, but yeah, once both his, both, both, once both of his, um, Chromatic's orbs are down, right? Our final arbiter just kind of is the is the dominant attack, right? Um, so anyway, you don't have a power up. What do we not have a power up? Uh, how do we not have a power up? We don't even have like a winning combo. We could like in theory exchange D for A. Change D for A, maybe. Uh, just to threaten that eight speed, and then go for the dagger fall. Maybe that. Maybe there's a plan there. I get dodged. Okay, that's fine. Getting dodged there's fine-ish. I mean, he's under five cards in hand. We're knocked down. We still have our we still have our burst in hand if we need it. Um, has a seven card hand, so it's like prevailing pretty low. Right, this is one of the um, although he's gonna get a burst of speed off finally this turn. Um, oh, actually, isn't this is one? This is a little bit more of the downsides of not having a resource gem on Valerie. It's just that it's just the fact that you really go low on cards. Oh, does not even have the burst of speed on his turn. Oh wow, 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 wow. Anyway, we're blocking here. I got us. He got us. I mean, does he have a combo? Though is the only thing, right? D, X. Just fully sending it. Ow. That's pretty sketchy, I'd say, but. Uh, it's pretty sketchy. Um, 
we're going to go ahead and uh, exchange F for E, power of E's. Uh, do we get two bar, I guess? We're rocking the no high block, but we have spear and we have burst, right? Um, so maybe we're okay there. Let's go for the spear here. Okay, he blocks it. That's actually not what we were looking for. I was kind of hoping he would uh, be scared of our throw, but for some reason, he's just not scared of our throw there. Picks up edge on his turn. Okay. Uh, finally, gets the burst of speed going. Uh, we could be in trouble here. Six cards. Green gem as well. I'm not really sure what the green gem does here. Like... Surely he's not going for a rainbow disc, right? The question we have to ask ourselves is whether we, um... I mean, this looks like a really good turn for us to burst, right? Um... He actually went for the rainbow disc, the mad... The mad lad goes for the rainbow disc there. Anyway, um... Is that just checkmate? Is that a fast? Is that just checkmate? Um... Exchange for a high. Yeah, I think it's just check me, right? Take a look here. I mean, Val has what's these. This is the only uh, DP, right? That Val has. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead exchange B for F. And uh, we are going to just hit him with checkmates, right? Just making sure. Yeah, okay, looks good. Yep, and there it is. I can't believe. Excel's going for the chromat the rainbow disc shenanigans and sticking to the character as well. Wow. And sticking to the character as well. I think it's got a little bit hairy there, but um Val without resource gem is just kind of just a little bit sad. Anyway, I think we're gonna block what high here. Okay, I get thrown, get thrown. What's the uh, what's the damage on this throw? Just knock down, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna power up throws, get super one and get super two one bar. Probably exchange E for e for high. Uh, we keep the A B around. He's been the thing is Val is like incentivized to play when I'm not knocked down, obviously Val's incentivized to play cards that are less than eight speed, right? Because the eight speed the fast one's used to those kind of cards. Um but, uh, yeah, do we wake up Spear? No, let's go for the high. Okay, we should have wake up Spear, but we get a card here at least. We have another power up as well as with the A's, which is pretty good for us. Um, no, nothing. Maybe. This would be a good turn to dagger fall. Maybe? Maybe we just switch up our block block low now. I don't Maybe this is maybe this is another throw coming though. Maybe this is another throw coming and maybe Dagger Fall's not the worst here. Dagger Fall. Yeah, maybe this is I feel like this is a throw. Just second throw. I feel like I just don't know why you wouldn't exchange though. But I feel like this is gonna be this hidden surprise second surprise throw. So we're gonna be pressing this button. Oh, we actually beat the we actually beat the high low. We actually beat the low attack. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, anyway, I think we're gonna be just dumping two cards here. Get a little bit extra damage on this combat. So we get what not, uh, six extra moral high ground damage off that. It's pretty good. We build up our second bar as well. Um, and we draw two cards on our turn, so it's not like we're hurting that badly for cards. Um, probably just gonna be blocking like low here, honestly. Um, or maybe look, he's just going for the final arbiter. <laughs> just uh, sending the final arbiter here is not a bad idea, maybe. Hmm. Let's block once. Three colors, what a 
that's an interesting comic choice for sure. It's not really what I was expecting. I mean, it, it, it undercuts the Daggerfall and the... Um, it undercuts the Daggerfall and the Time Crusher there, right? But also at the same time, I don't know, it just feels a little... Feels a little eh, just um, with the whole... Um, I think we do this, but... It just feels a little eh, right? Because that's, like that's like your main source of damage on this character. I don't know. Uh, do we do this? I mean, I don't see why we don't get, get our damage in. Do we do that? Maybe we spear. Uh, no, we save the spear for bar. So right now we notice that he has no bar, right? Um, so our final arbor is actually really good on his turn. We catch the cross stroke. That's really good for us. Um, final arbor! But the but that's just like really good on our turn. We have no bar, right? Oh, we have double Z's, so we can't power them up. Uh, thank you, game. We have no other. We have. No what is this hand? <laughs> what is this hand even? Uh, well, not much to do here besides block. I think he's on block with me, so I did want to go for a spear there. We catch the quick low. Okay, well, I guess current answer was tyrant crusher slash spear. Uh, weirdly enough, burst of speed. Okay, does he think that we don't? I guess the only question is with the burst of speed. Does he think that we don't have the tyrant crusher? Um, could just go for a block here. Because uh, this guy, we could just go for. Um, drop C, gets back B. Why did it get back B? Oh, powers up B's, okay. Powers up B's are super one. Okay. Um, is he trying to beat my trying? Is he trying to be my time crusher with super one though? Is the thing? Because then we can just spear out, right? Okay, went for the power attack. Went for the no. The setup was no setup there. Uh, we're gonna exchange D for B. Power B is for two bar. It looks like. Uh, go for a dodge here. Go for dodge, maybe. Is that lethal? I don't know if it's lethal. Okay, he just goes for the block there. Okay, expecting maybe Tiger Crusher or DP. I couldn't tell if that was lethal or not, honestly. Um, surely he has a throw by now. Oh, he has two throws. Interesting. Oh, really going for the Rainbow Disc, Shaggins, huh? Really going for the Rainbow Disc here. Or attempting to go for the Rainbow Disc, rather. Uh, well, we don't have a throw. Change is high for throw. Okay. I think we're really incentivized to play. I think we're gonna play A here. I mean, we go go suppress again. I don't know. I just feel like I, I just feel like I want to play. A. Hey, DP. Change for one throwback. We just block. Block. Low. Block high. Block high. Chromatic orb. Okay. You scar F. Can we get a power up, please? We actually do have a power up. Okay, we do have a power up. Let's just get this back. Uh, power up these for super two, please. We're gonna go for the um, go for the gem storm here, and we're just gonna send it. Now we're just gonna we're just gonna send it. I think. So this is green burst. He says this is green burst. Base two bar. Um, we probe it. We want to separate our gem storm and our prohibition just to like prevent him from playing the game. I think. We'll just send it. Okay. Justice. It's four damage. Are we not building enough case? Are we not building a strong enough case that we have like throws in hand? That he's blocking lane? Maybe he's just blocking because we haven't thrown him once. <laughs> Why did I throw only do four damage? Did I self damage myself? Because I'm knocked down, but. Um, hmm. 
We don't know what's going on there. Um, do do we have the do we have the economy to just wake up spear? Um, I feel like we do. Catch the chromatic orb too. That's really good. That's the exact interaction that we were talking about earlier. Um, catching the chromatic orb like that. I don't think these are just kind of chilling in my hand, not doing anything. Exchange this for throw. We're gonna prohibit him. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure he's still trying to go for like green gem shenanigans. Um, this is the turn we finally throw. Is this question? We can ghost assist. <laughs> ghost assist, get the edge and then throw him. Your final arbiter is like king here. Maybe we block the burst this turn. Yeah, let's block the burst this turn. Block the crashing right now. That's okay, I guess. Skip his main phase. Um, is this the turn we have to block the burst now? We're gonna say, uh, there it is. Okay, there we go. GG's. Eventually, we baited out the burst. It took a little bit longer than we anticipated, but we got it. Yeah! GG's Excel. Uh, yeah, when you're playing, when we're playing blue, we're just gonna try to attempt to not let the the game plan happen. And with green, Valerie, there's a very obvious, uh, it's a very obvious game plan of trying to go for that rainbow disc, right? Uh, so we just want to prevent that at all costs from happening. And if we're when we're playing the when we're playing the blue, right? We're just uh, particularly good at that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the content. So we're gonna random random once more, uh, and we'll see who we get. But until then, guys, take care, and bye bye.